Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I just wanted to start a video every day doing a couple things. So one, just because, just to talk to you guys, because it's weird not talking to you guys for um, this long. Um, and two, I wanted to do um, a read aloud every day, and then kind of go over the plan of some things that you can do online um, and at home that will help you keep uh, keep on learning. So um, today we're gonna read another chapter from uh, Ms. Hall as a goofball. I know we haven't read in a while. Um, we'll leave off um, on chapter six. So what's gonna happen is I'll read this chapter um, and then I'll kind of go over some other things that are happening today that you guys can work on uh, while you're at home. First off, before we start, um, it is supposed to be Spirit Week at Lakeview, um, but obviously we're not in school, so um, we don't have that opportunity to do it at school, but um, we're still be able to do it at home. So today is, Monday is Superhero Day, so um, I have my Captain America shirt on, um, and I have my uh, mug that says, I teach what's your superpower, because teachers have superpowers. Um, and then tomorrow is Crazy Hair Day um, slash School Color Day, so I'm not sure what I'll do for Crazy Hair Day, but I guess I have time to figure it out. Okay. So chapter six is Ms. Hall is in a pickle. After lunch, we had recess. We were playing in the monkey bars, and Ms. Hall came over and pulled me aside. Can you and I chew the fat for a minute, she asked. Uh, okay, I said. I'm not trying to butter you up here, dollface, but I know you are one smart cookie. Thank you, I guess, I said. You and your club have given me some food f for thought, Ms. Hall told me. I realize that veggies are not your cup of tea. No, I don't like them. Well, I'm going to spill the beans to you, said Ms. Hall. Huh? I said, which is also huh spelled backwards. What beans? I didn't see any beans. What did beans have to do with anything? And why would she spill them on purpose? Veggies are my bread and butter, Ms. Hall explained. I'm working for peanuts here, but I need to bring home the bacon. What? So you should probably get some bacon and bring it home, I replied. What I'm trying to say, Ms. Hall told me, is that I thought this job was going to be a piece of cake. Huh? A job and cake are two completely different things. I mean, she continued, I thought being a lunch lady at your school would be like taking candy from a baby. Why would you want to take candy from a baby? I asked. That's not very nice. I thought it would be as easy as pie, replied Ms. Hall. I'd be able to have my cake and eat it, too. Why was she talking about cake so much? I thought she loved veggies. There's a picture on that page. But it turned out that this has been a hard nut to crack, Ms. Hall continued. Maybe I bit off more than I could chew. I looked to see if she had some food in her mouth, but I guess she wasn't chewing anything. I guess my eyes are bigger than my stomach, she said. How do you know how big your stomach is? I asked. It's inside your body. Anyway, Ms. Hall said. Now I'm in a pickle. You are? I asked, looking around. I didn't see a pickle. How can anybody fit in a pickle anyway? My goose is cooked, said Ms. Hall. Then I guess you should take it out of the oven so it doesn't burn, I told her. I have egg on my face, said Ms. Hall. She didn't. I definitely would have noticed that. She must be really a, a sloppy eater. I guess now I'll have to eat crow, she said. It almost looked like she was going to cry. Maybe it will taste like chicken, I said, trying to make her feel better. I just can't cut the mustard here. Who cuts mustard? Can't you just squirt it out of a bottle? I guess I laid an egg, she said. What? People don't lay eggs. Chickens do. This will be a bitter pill to swallow, she told me. But I guess life isn't a bowl of cherries. Huh? What do cherries have to do with anything? If I can't get you and your friends back to eat your veggies, said Miss Hall, it will be back to the salt mines for me. It must have been weird to go from working in a salt mine to being a lunch lady. That was some career change. But that's the way the cookie crumbles, she said. She has cookies? No, I'd eat some of those. There's no use crying over spilled milk, she told me. You should call Miss Laser, the custodian, I said. She loves cleaning up messes. But I wanted you to know that I'm not a bad egg, she said. And if I can get you and your friends to eat vegetables, well, that would be the icing on the cake. I'll be top banana around here. The big cheese. It will be the best thing since sliced bread. Uh, okay. So I guess that's it in a nutshell, she said. That's the whole enchilada. Wow, she sure uses a lot of food idioms. If you don't know what the word idiom means, look it up. This chapter will make a lot more sense. Huh? What's an enchilada? Well, anyway, this was a good chat, said Ms. Hall. Thanks for listening, dollface. Uh, yeah, sure, I guess. I had no idea what she was talking about. Ms. Hall is a goofball. And that's the end. Okay. Um, so now, um, some things that you guys can do the rest of the day. So obviously you can keep doing those websites that the school and I sent you guys last week. 
Um, but if you're getting kind of sick of those, um, there's about an hour's worth of work that I have right here that um, you can be doing. So the idea is you can probably spend an hour doing language arts each day. I know it seems like a lot, but think about it. It's a lot less than we normally do in school, so you're still winning. Um, so what I'd like you to do today is I'd like you to first um, do exact path or something like that, um, just to kind of get like your warm up. Um, so maybe 10, 15 minutes of exact path or um, a different website, as long as it's something learning, that's fine. Um, and then after that, I'd like you to read for 20 minutes like we normally do in class. So this could be from your independent reading book. It can be from one of the resources I sent home with you guys. So things like Epic, um, Storyline Online, Tumble Books, um, wherever you have um, able to get books, things like that. Um, just make sure that you're still practicing those reading skills because it's super important that we read every day. Um, and then after that, um, on Google Classroom, there's going to be a article for today. It's going to be um, a, kind of what we're supposed to be talking about in social studies, but since we're not in school, it's just going to kind of be a little bit of social studies information. Um, but it's really short, and I just want you to answer a couple of questions on it. So read the article, um, answer the questions in Google Classroom, um, and it will all be there in Google Classroom under it'll, the title. I haven't put it up yet. Um, but the title will be something like Monday, March 23rd, because that's today and it's got all the Monday stuff in it. And then tomorrow, I'll record another video for you guys. Um, it'll be the next chapter and it'll be kind of some things that you can do on Tuesday. So we can kind of pretend we're doing school, but um, just kind of at home, so in your pajamas. Um, all right, well, thanks for um, listening. If you guys have pictures in your superhero stuff, feel free to email me. Um, it'd be kind of cool to see a bunch of people in their superhero stuff since that's today's spirit day. Um, if not, just... Um, you can just wear it at home. You don't have to take a picture or anything like that. Um, but it kind of just builds that community since um, our class isn't able to be together. So um, this will be posted on Google Classroom um, every day, probably the night before I'll post it. So that way tomorrow when you wake up, um, you'll be able to have Tuesday's information. Okay. As always, email me with any questions. A lot of you guys, um, I know people like Kingston and Elise, you guys have been already emailing me what you've been reading. Orion, you as well, what you've been writing. So I've enjoyed reading your guys' stories. Um, and so if you have stories or just want to talk about what you've been reading or just feel like talking, um, shoot me an email um, and we can, we can chat. All right, uh, see you guys tomorrow.